Hey besties, and welcome back to my channel and yet another episode of The Mom Life. Today I'm going to be talking about disposable nappies. And I'm not going to waste any more time. Home oh, guys here. So I have to hurry up this video. <laughs> Literally. So let's dive right into it. I am a cloth nappy mom. I use cloth nappies on my son for the most part while we are home. However, when he is in school, he is in disposable nappies. His school does not accept cloth nappies, so we have had to buy disposable nappies to take with him to school during the week. Honestly, it is one thing that I'm not necessarily happy about. I have talked about this in my videos. The school principal keeps telling me that they are looking into doing something about it, but to be honest, I don't think they will. And if they do, it's probably gonna be too late because we're not planning on keeping him there for a long time. With that being said, we have used quite a number of Pampers and they had these nappies and uh, I thought I should tell you guys what it is that I did like and didn't like about the nappies yes they are disposable yes they basically are supposed to be doing the same thing but are they doing the same thing I must confess I feel like I've always been a Huggies mom every time when I buy nappies I always gravitate towards buying Huggies I'm not so much a Huggies wipes mom I've talked about how I don't necessarily like their wipes but I do love their nappies I have written down some notes as I was using these nappies and so those are what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. These are basically all the nappies that I've tried. I'm missing one nappy, which I'm actually very sad about. I don't know how I'm missing it. So anyway, this is Pampers Baby Dry. This is Pampers Premium. This is Huggies Gold. And this is Pampers Active Baby Dry. The one nappy that I'm missing here is the Huggies Comfort. I don't know how I don't have it here, but I don't know. I have found that Pampers nappies tend to be a little bit pricey, regardless of whether it's Pampers Premium or Pampers Baby Dry or Pampers Active Baby Dry. The price range seems to be a little bit higher than the Huggies ones. I feel like when it comes to nappies, you are either a Pampers mom or you are a Huggies mom. And regardless of the pricing, you're always just going to gravitate towards the nappy that you like. Now, I'm going to start off first with the Pampers Baby Dry. It looks something like this. If you are into prints, this is what it looks like. If you want your baby to be rocking cute little nappies, please don't mind my chip nail polish. I know, life has been insane. This is a size 3. The Pampers Baby Dry prides itself on this air system that they have incorporated into their nappies so essentially what they're saying is the nappy is breathable it allows for baby skin to get some air however what i have noticed when i use these nappies is the fact that they tend to leak a lot their little wings things on the side are not necessarily long enough they are not big enough so even though it has got this double proofing mechanism in place i find that they still leaked a lot when he was wearing these it looked a lot it frustrated me so hard i remember telling dizzy i don't even know why they have these pampers baby dry the other thing i really did not appreciate with this nappy is the fact that when the baby pees quite a number of times you start to feel the wetness under the nappy they say the nappy can go up to 12 hours but whether that is true or not i honestly am on the not true side because we usually change change peanuts nappy probably like every four to five hours especially when he's wearing disposables but even then this part right here like literally on the outside it would feel wet and his clothes would feel moist and i did not like that it sags a lot it does not have that non-sagging thing in place i don't know what you call it but when the baby pees a couple of times especially for him since he's a boy like the front part of his nappy is usually just bulging out and that area is usually also moist on his vest I have another note here that says it does not last for 12 hours. This is probably my least favorite, but that's what it looks like inside. This is a size 3. In a pack of size 3, you get about 76 nappies for roughly 230 rand. This is mostly, I'm assuming, is for babies that are crawling and learning to walk and all of that fun stuff, which should explain the term active baby. It is active baby dry. I feel like it's almost exactly as this one, but I do notice that they have really try to improve their little wings situation here on the side they have made them a little bit bigger to help with catching all of the leaks so that it doesn't go all over baby's clothes it does not give you that wet feeling on the outside and the one time we picked him up from school in it and it leaked i actually think i vlogged about this day it was the day when we went to go do the soda stream tour flashback i was actually going to change his nappy but then it kind of leaked everywhere he's wearing it disposable from school um my only problem with just changing him is the fact that he seems to be having a runny tummy and a flashback i think i talked about it on the vlog i just didn't mention the brand i said it had leaked because he was also having a runny tummy he was wearing pampers active baby dry they say it should last for up to 12 hours i mean the damn thing leaked so that was not 12 hours this is what it looks like inside i did notice that 
Pampers Active Baby Dry as well as Pampers Baby Dry does not have a wetness indicator. At first, I used to think this yellow thing here on the side would be their wetness indicator, but I tried to wet it and do stuff on it and nothing, it doesn't change color. So they don't have a wetness indicator, which I found very interesting because I could have sworn Pampers was the one who came up with that wetness indicator technology or innovation. And yet, here we are. And when it comes to Pampers Active Baby Dry, I'm not necessarily sure about the quantity, but I think it must have been about 64 or something that I bought the other day. And it was 259, so 260. So Pampers is right up there with like the 200s because when you buy Pampers Premium, a pack of size three, you get 80 nappies in there and you pay 299, so basically 300 bucks. What's up everybody? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this video with him on my lap. The one thing I really, really like about this. Oh, hey. You okay? The one thing I like about these nappies is the fact that they have a wetness indicator. But to be honest, the one thing I really, really, truly like about the Pampers Premium nappies is the fact that um, they have these extra little winglets things on the side. And not only that, but they have a double layer of all of those things here on the side. Plus, a complete win for me is the inside, the textured layer feel on the inside of the nappy. It has got like little bubbles or I don't even know what you call this, like little holes on it. So when a baby's having a runny tummy, it literally can go through the nappy and it doesn't have to sort of like stick around on baby's butt. Using Pampers Premium, we have hardly ever had any leaks. Then again, it is Pampers Premium. I would expect nothing less. It doesn't sag all that much and it does not have that wetness feeling outside the nappy when it is time to change baby's nappy. The wetness indicator is a bit sensitive to a point where when baby pees like once, it already turns blue. I really, really like Pampers Premium. It's the one that we have truly enjoyed using out of the Pampers range. A leaking nappy just gives me way too much work to do and I'm not here for all the amount of work to be done. So yeah, Pampers Premium is completely my fave. It works out to be the most expensive out of the Pampers range, obviously, because it's Pampers Premium. But if you want something that's gonna go a long way, doesn't leak, um, and uh, gives baby that nice dry feeling um, when they pee, then Pampers Premium is your go to and then we're gonna move on over to my favorite nappies which are huggies i feel like i've always been the huggies mom huggies is my go-to brand when it comes to buying disposable nappies <gasps> They've treated my, both my children so well. Unfortunately, I do not have the Haggis Dry Comfort Nappy. I honestly have no idea how I don't have it. I don't know what happened to it because I swear I kept each one of the nappies as and when we bought them just to make sure that you don't end up using it and then losing it. And yet, here I am. Anyway, we used the Haggis Dry Comfort and that was my least favorite. I do not like the Dry Comfort. I really hope this video is not okay to you guys because honestly, honestly, well, hey. mm. The Haggis Dry Comfort Nappy, I did not like that one. It's similar with the Pampers Active Baby Dry as well as Pampers Baby Dry in the sense that it does not have the little things on the side that helps to catch the leak and goodness me, it leaked a lot. It leaked a lot. Every day we'd send him to school and every day he'd come with a little plastic bag and they say his nappy leaked and we had to change him every single day without fail. And it also, it sagged, man. It was a saggy nappy. I mean, at the time, Peanut was not even crawling or anything like that, but he'd be sitting down and you would see it gave him, it, it just, yeah, it sagged. I didn't quite appreciate that at all. But on the price side, it tends to be a little bit cheaper if you are more into pricing. In a pack of size four, you get 66 nappies and um, you pay 174 rand. Although, to be honest, if you look at it, a pack of size three, for Pampers Baby Dry, you get 76, so that's 10 additional nappies for 230. So the difference between 230 and 174, you work it out and you decide which one you wanna go for. Down to the very last nappy, it is the Huggies Gold one. It looks a little something like this. They always have Minnie Mouse and Mickey prints on their Huggies Gold packs. This is probably my favorite nappy ever. Look at the size of this wing on the side. like. It is incredible. It never leaks at all. It catches all the leak before it leaks to the baby's clothes, which is amazing. And uh, the rubber band thing is actually quite strong, so it doesn't just snap. You know how sometimes you put a nappy into a baby and then you try to like 
pull it on top of him so that you can close it and then you just feel this rubbery bit just snapping out of position and you just know that one is gonna leak this one hardly ever happens it gives baby the dry feeling which i really really like and it doesn't even sag you guys you probably can't tell but if you hold up the nappy like this to where there is light coming through you can see the sort of three divisions and that's where the, the pee gets absorbed to like sort of even out the nappy so it doesn't sag I really really appreciate that plus the stretchy thing here right here in the back because the stretchier it is here the more it's able to sort of go around baby's body so that it doesn't leak on the side because honestly The reality of the matter is when babies are sleeping in the night they tend to sleep on their sides and they like change positions throughout the night and you don't want to get to a situation where your baby was sleeping on the side and the pee literally went out through their sides and then when it comes to price wise let me check that quickly in a pack of size 4 you get again 66 nappies and you pay 189 or 99 so 190 the difference between um, dry comfort and uh, Huggies Gold is probably like 20 rand at the most but um i feel like you get more value out of your money when you use the huggies gold than when you buy the dry comfort but again it all depends on you as a mom like what are you looking for do you want something cheaper or do you want something that is not going to leak and give you all the extra work of having to do tons and tons of laundry and tons and tons of changing nappies plus having to spend more money buying nappies because when they leak you basically have to change it but it is entirely up to you for right now i think that's going to be it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this chaotic video i know there's a lot of first time moms that are sitting and asking themselves do i buy huggies nappies or do i buy pampers nappies and why should i buy huggies and why should i buy pampers and to me personally it's not just about this brand is famous it's about what the brand can do for me as much as i'm a huggies mom i'm a huggies mom because huggies works for us i'm a cloth nappy mom through and through but we are forced to use disposables and so here we are i hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to thumbs up if you watched this far and subscribe if you haven't and until then, we will catch you besties on another video. Bye, guys. Tonight, we're running on the right track.